Rewind 94.3. This is Unsigned It. I'm Jill Eleanor, and today I have D from North 131. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's happening? What's up? <laughs> check, check. Uh, so are you the only person in North 131? Uh, no, actually. Uh, we've actually gone through quite a uh, laundry list of uh, people that have come in, in and out of the band. Because they uh, suck, so you get them rid of? No, they just kind of get, I don't know, just... Moving around in different situations, people kind of, you know, life goes on. Mm. Things happen. <laughs> you sucked. They didn't like you. Oh, You're pushed away. Yeah, kind of. That's how it works. Okay. No, who? But who the current is the lineup people? right now uh, mm -hmm. is myself, and uh, our bass player is Andrew Van Covering. What's his last name? Andrew Van Covering. I, I don't. Van I hope Covering. I'm saying saying that right. Jill Van Covering. He's nah. gonna hit, He's gonna nah. hate me. I like to. <laughs> but Andrew, we call yes. him uh, V. See? Okay. Now I, I like big to, dog. I like his last name. It's yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Um. So and and, and our drummer uh, is gonna be. He's not here just yet, but he's gonna be moving here in March. Where uh, is he from? Uh, right now he's living in Phoenix. Why is he moving here? <laughs> well, Chicago. <gasps> I love Chicago. Uh, so he's gonna live in Chicago and just come here. Uh, we're gonna what? figure it out and uh, have band practice wherever we see fit and kind of travel. We're only uh, like uh, two hours away, so. Oh, I love Chicago. I know. We're... I mean, you're in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. So sorry, by the way. I mean, you could take a boat, right? <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. exactly. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Jeff, Jeff Ringle, Bodine. Ringle. Yeah. That sounds like J a drummer. <laughs> yes, name. absolutely. Ringle. I, maybe it's because it's Ringo. But yeah. It, it fits. Ringle. Okay. Yep. So he'll be moving in... Um, March, that's the plan, and we're going to get him in. And he's already recorded uh, drums for the second record, so he knows all the songs. He's familiar. Uh, so we're going to just get together and see what we can do, giving uh, the world circumstances. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> um, so what kind of music is? Considered North punk rock, punk uh, rock. up in that uh, vein, kind of bands uh, similar to like No Effects, Rancid, uh, Clash, Ramones, that kind of vein. Foo Fighters, Nirvana. No, ask. I, I, I asked the question because nobody likes that question usually because they're like, we're everything like hip hop and rock. And, Don't classify yeah, me. Yeah, no. Like, but I mean, I an outsider like looking. To. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's how you generalize music, I guess, more no, or less. No, if I want to look up new music of pop punk, <laughs> right. I could look up pop punk and you might show up. If you told me the Beatles were hip hop, I'd be a little upset. It would be. I mean, you could maybe make them. Like, right. Whoop, whoop, I'm whoop, sure whoop, whoop. people mix yeah. it nowadays, but I mean. The original stuff, like, oh, it's kind of hip hop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we have one song that's like it. Like, uh, exactly. Uh, no, one not song. really. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what song is North 131? I guess our most popular one, and people know us mostly for, is Greatest Night. Greatest Night. Is it about a greatest night? It was. Uh, just good times, hanging out with friends, uh, drinking too much. <laughs> is it about one night or is it uh, just a collection oh, okay. uh, more just a memory for myself and like a group of friends that I had living out in Phoenix at the time when I wrote the song. Ah, so you live in, lived in Phoenix. I did. I did. I went to a uh, recording school out there for about seven years. Oh. Well, the school didn't last seven years, I was but I thinking, lived like, there seven years. What are you, a doctor? <laughs> no, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> right? I bet no. your girlfriend does too. Yeah, or she does. wife. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she do. <laughs> she do. Uh, so, okay. So that's why you probably know somebody in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I lived out there for about seven years. Hmm. Uh, we, me and my other friend, uh, Schmitty, shout out Schmitty. Uh, <laughs> we built a rec we met in recording school and then we built a recording studio at his house mm -hmm. and ran that for about seven years and recorded the two records I have. Ah. Yeah. Well, second one's yet to be released. Well, but we're getting there. <laughs> what album? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now people know it's yeah. been a long time oh, waiting. Okay, cool. <laughs> so let's get to it. Greatest Night yeah. by North 131 on Rewind 94.3. Let it all flow out. <laughs> Most fun that I've ever had. The 
94.3. That was Greatest Night by North 131. And I have D in studio. What is North 131? Meaning like, what's the What name? is it to me? <laughs> no, no. What is? How is? No. What, how'd you come up with North 131? Well, as uh, a lot of Michiganders know, uh, North 131 is the highway that more or less connects uh, Kalamazoo up to northern Michigan. Uh, but I did not know that. No, you didn't. I could have just been like, do you do nay North 131? <laughs> it is it is a highway over in the, the west side. Um, but where what it means to me is more or less, I remember growing up driving around with my father, listening to music and like on North 131, going up to my uncle's house who lives in a undisclosed location in northern Michigan. What I'll does just, that mean? Uh, well, I just didn't want to give... Give away the town. It, oh, it, I was like, I? is he? Uh, he, in he, lives in, he lives in White Cloud. Oh. It is basically the boonies. I've never even heard of White Cloud. <laughs> White Cloud, Michigan. Yeah. Okay. So I remember growing up and driving uh, all over North 131 and um, just listening to music, falling in love with music. And that's kind of where the birthplace of the love of music came from. Oh, okay. To me. <laughs> so you're from Michigan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Born and raised. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, uh, <laughs> How'd you? Well, yeah, everywhere. What? <laughs> I've, li I've lived in a lot of places, oh, but I'm born in <laughs> What's the best? What's the best? Well, I think my favorite's probably Michigan. Ew, why? <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> yeah. A lot of friends and people I grew up with and mm. such, but I mean, a lot of my best times, probably in Phoenix, oh. Arizona. Uh, but through high school, I've uh, gone back and forth between uh, Atlanta and Grand Rapids. Uh, my mom moved down there when oh. we were young. And so through high school, I basically went between the two. And uh, well, that's for fine. college, I was like, I'm going to go do my own thing in Phoenix. I wish I did that. <laughs> but nope, I'm here in Monroe. No, uh, nothing wrong with it, Monroe. Yeah, nothing wrong. <laughs> Just nobody leaves. We're all stuck yeah, here. We yeah. try to leave and then there's like a plexiglass and we're like, like uh, 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 let me out yeah i have a job in detroit and toledo so i guess i'll have to stay oh man that's rough mm. at least you're in the middle point though yeah yeah but i mean i mean monroe's great okay <laughs> we love so it. yeah uh let's get to another song or something let's do a live song yeah okay let me so, bust out the guitar what is staggering about staggering <laughs> as you could probably assume another uh Greatest night happening, but this is kind of more or less a story uh, being told throughout the song. Uh, it, I was visiting Grand Rapids. I was living in Phoenix at the time. There, uh, me and my friends, we went all out uh, bar hopping, drinking all night, and uh, snuck into this certain bar down there. And uh, how do you sneak into a bar? Well, they were like checking you at the door, and they're like taking your money for the cover charge. But then, the, like, we didn't have cash. So they're like, there's an ATM inside. So me and another friend, snuck, like, we were, like, getting cash out the ATM. And then we're like, uh, well, they're not looking, so let's just go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we just went in, and uh, it was, like, kind of like a clubby bar. And there was a dance floor there, and we were just drinking, having a great time. I ended up throwing up on the dance floor. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> You're that person. I was that person. That oh. well, not anymore. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a long cool. in the past. Yeah, no. Uh, but anyway, we were just having a good time, and I was running around, you know, and then wrote a punk song about it, more or less. And they told me I was staggering a little too much. Yes, puked on the <laughs> dance floor. That's actually and pretty close. Was like, oh my god, I hate that guy. I was that he guy. He just made the night worse. Yep. Okay, I mean, oh, poor you. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't deal with throw up. I'm no, like, I, no, I don't blame you. Rather you pull your pants. I don't either. Rather you pull your pants. So, okay, let's just get to this fun song. Yeah. And it's live, Staggering, on Rewind 94.3 Unsigned. <laughs> Shots. 
Rewind 94 3. I think he was staggering <laughs> a little, little too, too much. much. So that was North 131. D. By the way, do you guys just go by letters in your name? Because you were like, and V. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a new thing, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you did, maybe you can like, okay, I'm not saying change the band name, but like it's D <laughs> and then there's a V. Is, is the other one like a vowel? Uh, Bodine. Bodine. Oh. Ringle. And I don't know. He kind of throws everything he off. The drive. He always does. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you make videos. Yeah, we were uh, for a while there. Uh, we had a drummer that we were messing around with for a little bit, and we were just putting out quarantine videos, and because there was nothing else we could do, we were getting ready to play live shows and try and promote for this second record that we're trying to work on. So and what are the videos? They're on YouTube. Well, I mean, uh, like, what are they? Just oh, like just uh, live playing. Yeah, oh. cover songs, original songs. Um, and we were doing that for a while and got a really good response, actually. A lot of people were checking it out. Um, and so we're, that kind of fizzled out due to drummer changes, <laughs> always. <laughs> Dang drummer. I know it. Uh, so we're going to get back into it. Um, so, yeah. What did people look up? North 131? Check out on YouTube or j on any platform, North 131 Band. Yeah, just all spelled out, N-O-R-T-H 131 Band. Okay. So, yeah, that's where you find us on anything. Uh, I thought it was going to be like funny videos or something we could talk about. <laughs> we should. You huh? should make a funny video. <laughs> then I could like talk about it and be like, what was the funniness about it? Uh. <laughs> right. All right. You're not helping me out here. D. I'm sorry. So uh, boring, huh? you got to do my job for me. Boring Come up with rock. things to talk about. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm staggering a little bit too much. All right. Yes. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> so what do you do in... Grand Rapids. Are you from Grand Rapids or are you like from White Cloud? No, 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 no. Born and raised in Grand Rapids. What's uh, in Grand Rapids? A lot, actually. A lot of stuff. Oh. It's kind of, I mean. Where is it? Uh, do on to the map, kind of up in this region up here, maybe like okay. down below the pinky area. Um, you know, oh, is, is Grand Rapids, do they have breweries? A lot of breweries. Like, uh, Beer City, USA. Okay, so, yeah, no, okay, I was there a few months ago. Oh, really? Did you stop in a brewery to, or anything? Yeah, um, it was, like, in a church. Oh, it's been a while. Downtown. I don't really go to breweries anymore. Oh, yeah, they have really good <laughs> stew. Oh, yeah, there's a lot a of good food. I'm not a brewery person. There's a lot. This. As good as beer there is, there's equally as good a food out there as well. Like a lot of big beer. restaurant city and all that yeah mm -hmm. for sure but i mean it's a college town. it is okay it is what is the college uh there's uh grand valley uh -huh. grand valley's out there i believe there's some there's some like medical michigan state and u of m stuff out there like downtown area and mm -hmm. then like western has a lot of buildings down there as well so why didn't you go to school there not good enough? Uh, I just found a particular school out in Arizona. And like I said, uh, just kind of wanted to go out and do my own thing out on my own. I didn't know anybody when I moved to Phoenix. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to see if I could do it. And you went for recording? Audio recording, yeah. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. So do you have your own studio? <laughs> right home? now, I do not. But okay. I'm building. Um, working on uh, currently uh, get myself into a house this year. And then from that, I'm going to start building on my own recording studio and hopefully getting other bands out in the area or hip hop artists or anybody that wants to record in. Americana. Americana. Singer, folk. songwriter. Folk. <laughs> yeah, folk punk. I get that. Folk, punk, rap, gospel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to work at more or less kind of trying to build a base for where we can do our own quarantine videos. And, you know, because we don't really know how long we're going to be you know, under quarantine and such. So quarantine sounds so scary. It's gnarly. Quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of took the life out of the music industry. So it is. Kind of took the life out of everything. Yeah, I know. But eh, I, I read on, I think it was, I don't go on Facebook. I forgot where it was, but somebody was like, I, I didn't know how, what quarantine was. And I guess it's like my real life or something. I, it's not like that, but it's like, yeah, no, totally. I don't do much anything different. Yeah, I go home yeah, it's and about I the stay same. home and I get in my pajamas underneath right. the covers. Outside of seeing bands. Yeah. Not much has really yeah. changed uh, <laughs> for myself. Yeah. I'm saying, I mean, 
Do you mind if, how old are you? I will be 30 in July. Okay. See, I feel like I'm 28 and I feel oh, yeah. like I'm too old to be partying. I know. Like I'm good. I did yeah, my partying. I did too. I mean, not as much as you, you grossness. <laughs> I wrote a lot of songs about it. Yeah. No, and you puked on a dance floor. Ooh. See, I never puked when drinking the day no? after or I make myself. Oh, okay. Oh, you would make yourself? Yeah. Cause it would be like, oh my God, I'm so I got to get this out of me. Yeah. No, I, mean, I try it. I was hanging on to it as long as I could so <laughs> until I couldn't anymore. I was at a bar <laughs> around here and I, I used, to, I hated it. It was like every time I go to this bar, I would have like a horrible time, mm -hmm. you know, so I would just not go there. But then my sister moved close to the bar. So I would go Party with her. Time. Yeah, no, and I'd be like, oh, okay, we can hang out. And then somebody puked oh, and I witnessed was it. Was it me? No, <laughs> it wasn't on a dance floor. It was like an older gentleman. Oh, wow. Like it was, it was like a Tuesday. It's like, why is this guy throwing up? Oh my God. That guy I parties like, hard. Yeah. No. So I like, so much. I like freaked out and I just don't go back to that bar anymore. Yeah. It's like, I kind of ruined it for you. huh? I, I didn't have a good time. Mm. And then it was like, Oh, this is a bad, oh, it's a bad. <laughs> crap. Like, uh, pukers. Yeah. Ruin the night. Yeah. Yeah. Ruin we've, night. I've done that quite a bit. Yeah. Not anymore quite though. A bit? <laughs> well, Were I mean, a we've all, upper. <sighs> I wasn't like known for it, but I mean, <laughs> that would suck. I, if you were known for it, I, I would be like, you're not allowed. To no, no, tonight. I wasn't like puker D or nothing. No. <laughs> puker D. <laughs> D puker. D puker. I like puker D. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't like known for it, but oh, okay. I mean, I did party a lot. I now I've been sober for about three years. So, oh wow. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, me too. Just kidding. No, I drank <laughs> last night. Um, <laughs> I haven't drank in a while. So I was like, Hey, let's do it. Um, but yeah, I just think once you hit over like 25, yeah. it's kind of like, ah, I'm yeah, going to stay home with it, my cats. It, exactly. Yeah. It hurts too bad. <laughs> you get a bad headache. and like, Right. And it's like, I want to oh. be the best. And like in the morning, I'm not the best right. when I drink. So yeah. yeah, no. Just people don't throw up Jesus. <laughs> And if you do, write a good song about it yeah. at least. I mean, okay, okay. I, I don't mean to go back to the throw up, but like, because I, I, I've never done it. Like, do you feel like you're going to throw up? And you're well, like, no, man. Keep in that, down, in that case in particular, I think I like was like, I was chugged a beer or something. And it like was all the beer bubbles like in your stomach. Mm. And like, it just kind of like made me feel like I had to like. No, okay, puke. see, I've done that. So, I, I've only shotgun one beer and it came back up. Well, cause like so, we were dancing, having a good time. So we had a beer and I didn't want to bring it out there. So quick, chug it real quick. Mm -hmm. I think it was, happened to be like a Guinness or something. So, ew. <laughs> so Jesus. of course I puked that up. Yeah. Ew. That's <laughs> even the worst. Yeah. Like the bubbles were just kind of stuck in my stomach and okay. didn't make me feel very good. <laughs> you know, I, and I, I was instantly out. They saw me, they saw me. Oh yeah, and you snuck into the bar. I snuck into the bar. Oh Didn't have a wristband. God. I was instantly worst. done. You're the worst. <laughs> I was a scumbag. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Because I mean, I'm just thinking of like being a worker. It would be like that guy didn't even pay to get in here. Nope. He threw up. He's not going to clean I it up. I did run up a pretty good bar tab, though. I will say. Did you tip well? I, I, well, here's the thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After they kicked me out, I would. I had it. I must have paid. I don't really remember. But once I go outside, I'm like, my card, it's at the bar. Let me go in. They're like, no, bro, no, we'll go check for you. So they go in, check, and <laughs> come back. They're like, no, you don't have a card here, dude. Like, what are you doing? But I'm pretty sure I, I had to have paid. But I just <laughs> I don't mean, remember. I done that. My you card know? was in my pocket the next morning, so. I mean, maybe like your friends. Maybe my friends hooked me up yeah. or something. I don't know. I don't know. Usually that's what happens In the beginning, me. they did have my card, though. <laughs> Somehow I got it back. So. Yeah, maybe I don't you tipped well. You know, yeah, well. I'm sure I usually do. Because you know <laughs> they don't get that money. But yeah, that's good cool. times though. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, but not talking about throw up anymore. No, no. Now we're into how I paid and how I got my card. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm outside and I see my friends and I'm like waiting for a ride. You know, waiting for a taxi cab because they didn't want to end. They're like, we're still partying. <laughs> oh, and you were done. I, I was, I got kicked yeah. out and I was sitting outside. It was cold oh, and snowing. And they weren't like, let's just go to another bar. No, <gasps> not at the Your time. friends are horrible. <laughs> but I think like one of them was like, all right, I guess I'll just go home with you. So <laughs> I don't know. Like, what's, what's so hard to go to another bar? I know that. I don't know. Maybe they just thought I was done. <laughs> I mean, you should have I should have been you, done. You were done. <laughs> should have been. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to guess your friends should have been done too, because 
I'm, they didn't even think like, how's D doing? They're yeah, just like no, or partying on their own. I feel like if you're drinking with somebody and they throw up, <laughs> like you're about there too. Right. You're not like, oh, I'm on one beer, he's on 10. Like right. you're probably on nine. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we, we hit it pretty hard. Yeah, but at least you got a taxi. <laughs> yeah, That's absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Kids stay safe. Yes. Drink your heart out. Never get a taxi. drive. Do not. I've called my mother a few times. Have you? Yeah. Because she's like, and I'm like, oh, sorry. Because, you know, you're drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's yeah. like, no, I would prefer this. Uh, like yeah. one time I was in Toledo and I called her. Mm -hmm. and I Oh, wow. That. No, I, this was it was like a bad night. I was, I broke up. You with, had a greatest night? No, I broke up with my boyfriend Ooh. at the time. And it was just like, he, and I, he was like, I'll take you. And I was like, no, you're not taking me home. <laughs> yeah. And it was. It was mom, just come get me. Yeah, no, my mom has picked me up, and I feel like. And there's parents. nothing wrong with no, that. But in your, your head, parents, you're like, oh man, she's I know, gonna be so she's mad. She's gonna be like, you alcoholic. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but yeah. you're young, you know. So. But then again, I haven't done that in years. Years. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm good. No, now we're I on have, to new stories. Yeah, I have three beers, and I'm like, eh, yeah, I'm good. I'll, I could drink at home now. Right. You know, like I'll just have a beer when I get and home. And it's cheaper that way. <laughs> So, yes, but it, you know, no friends, but you know what? Let's, let's get back to, uh, yeah, music. Let's, the music part. You know, you're here for music, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, let's go to stick to your guns. All guns. Right. I don't know why I said it like that, <laughs> but yes. What is, what is this one about? Uh, this one's just, you know, uh, people out there try and tell you how to live your life and tell you, well, you should be doing this. I don't know why you're doing <gasps> this. That. And so I wrote a song, stick to your guns. Like, this is my life. This is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. Is it your parents? Did your parents do this? My parents did it. Uh, they yeah, still do. They always do. They do. But they are very supportive. But oh, yeah. like, there's always like, uh, you I think be you doctor. should be doing yeah. this. Like, uh, you should be a why lawyer. Why don't you do this? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's because I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, stick to your stick guns. Stick to your guns. Here it is. Bye. North 131 and Rewind 94.3. a little bit not punk rock no i feel like it was more like uh, yeah, there was like a rock, reggae yeah, ed ed edge to it no yeah. i just i feel like whenever i hear screaming it's not punk rock <laughs> is like, that metal punk to you rock, no um <laughs> i don't know what it is but i guess like yeah punk rock yeah yeah i guess <laughs> but um what were we talking oh yeah no let's not talk about that i was like, like let's go back to our conversation 
conversation. No, <laughs> no. Nah. Um, okay, I like, do you have a wife or is it girlfriend or what? Girlfriend. Okay, yeah. how long? Uh, five years. <gasps> Oh. Yeah, we met in Arizona. Five years. And then she loves me enough to come out here to Grand Rapids. Well, mm. here we're in Grand Rapids. So do we hear wedding bells in the future? It's coming. <laughs> <gasps> Is it today? No. Is it tomorrow? <laughs> no, not any, well, probably next year, maybe. I don't know. I'm not to set a date to it, but, you know, mm. we're... we're well, you gotta like propose. Absolutely, I have yet to do that. I, I know the ring. It's five even. years. Yeah, she's five waiting. Years you she's haven't. waiting. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, just get her a gumball machine ring and be like, "You're the real one." Here you go. Here it's you go. Com it's on the way. Yeah. Well, she does say that it has to be. <laughs> the ring has to be. She'd probably kill me for saying this. No, but. no, I'm like, I'm all for this. Like, I feel, okay, <laughs> she does say that it, the ring has to be because I got. This guitar, uh -huh. it's roughly about $2,000. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's like, the ring has to be as much, if not more. Oh, yeah. I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 2000. Yeah, definitely like, more what? than 2000. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be like your check times five or something, something weird. stupid? Yeah, something like that. Or yeah. like three checks saved or something weird like See, that. this is why I want a doctor or a lawyer. Ah, I want like they the have biggest it. rock. Like, <laughs> I have to lift up my hand. They're out there like, for you. Yes. Uh, oh, I, I, I'm on a dating app. Oh, and, oh. Um, like, you know, you fill out the answers and stuff like that. One was like your three wishes. And I was like, money, more positivity in people and money. Yeah. And then one guy, he, I, I wanted to send him something like, how dare you? But I didn't. I just deleted him. He was like, something like, oh, are you talking to older men because you think you can get the money? And it's like, I, I just like older guys. Yeah. Like, I feel like they're That's just more doing. mature. Sure. You know, I'm not like 60s, like 50 is like top, like top, top. But yeah, no, and it's just like, how dear? Like, no, I just like money. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah, no problem with that. Wishes. Yeah, money. I could give that to the poor. You mean I can quit I my can, job? <laughs> yeah. Like, and you can do anything with money. Right. You know, like, you can adopt a kid. Like, people are like, you can't, money doesn't buy happiness or love. Like, it sure makes life easier, though. Not, no, I mean, you can adopt a puppy. You can adopt a baby with money. But yep, like, absolutely. So, no. Yeah. I I mean, I, I do say that uh, if if I could do anything in the world, I'd be a trophy wife. Like, <laughs> I, I would already have that degree. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, no. So. That's funny. You dating up. That's where we met on a dating <gasps> I was going to ask. So, which, so, what was your first date like? Our first date, we uh, went to like a little uh, dive bar and just drink a few beers and I put $10 on the jukebox and none of my songs got played because oh, <laughs> some dude behind me was like putting it in after me being a jerk. Yeah. But uh, we just kind of talked and uh, did you pay? Hit it. Oh, absolutely. Guys Come pay. on. No, that's like, a, that's like <laughs> if you want a second date. Yeah. You pay. Oh yeah. That's like, I don't, standards. Yes. Standards. You know how many dates I've been on that haven't paid? <laughs> They're like, you got this. All right? of them. Really? Are you kidding oh, me? Oh no, I wait. I'm like all of them. You're kidding. It's that or on, I guys. no, I swear to God, <laughs> like this is why I've been single for like more than a year. But like, no, because they have the check there and it's like waiting. Like they don't want to be like, you want to split it? So <sighs> I, I don't ask like, oh, do you want to? I just wait. Yeah, uh, that, like that shouldn't even exist. <laughs> no, for you. it's like that I, should be dropped on the dude's side of the table and. Don't oh, worry. usually when, if they go to the bathroom, I'm like, okay, just give him the check. I just want to see what happens. Like, you give it to him. Yes. Yeah. So just to see what happens. I don't know. No, nah, yeah. Usually, even to this day, I try and. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, okay, it. it's been five years. If she's like, let me get this one. I feel Every like now and fine. again, yeah. Yeah, she'll get her couple things. But I try to be, you know, if we go out on a special date or a date night or something, I try and take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. More men should be like you. Yeah, I try. Yeah. Maybe I should look for bearded guys. Uh, Every that's time not your I'm thing, like, no. <laughs> Beards. You're Gross only going to think of the cheese beard. Okay. <laughs> you even said you get stuff in it. I bet you I if do, I but... looked in your nasty beard right now, I would find something. Hey, I combed it this morning. <laughs> but you, did you eat food? Did you eat food? Honestly, no. What? You haven't ate? No, I didn't. No, we were waiting. I was waiting until after this. I, I, I don't like operator. to eat a thing on a full stomach. So oh. I'd like to. And I was eating a burrito in front of you. Oh, like, no, oh no, no, no. I'm really good. Just a water is fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. But yes, you will get food in your beard. <laughs> I'm you sorry. do. It, I'm it putting happens. you down. I'm like, no, you're, you're fine. But <laughs> My, I hate when I go to the bagel shops. 
because every once in a while we'll go get like coffee and a bagel for our date days or whatever in the morning. Uh-huh. Uh, and then they load on the cream cheese <laughs> and it's melting and no. it's everywhere. No. And it's all How up. Do in, you clean I just it? don't do it anymore. How do you clean? Uh, napkin, napkin, water. Just go to the bathroom, take care of it. <laughs> I am like legit. Like I feel up stuff right here. Wax. See, <laughs> Talking about <laughs> staggering. Talking no, talking about throwing up on a dance floor. Like mine is like beards. Like <laughs> this is quite the show today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is. I didn't even think about. But I mean, like that. It's What's just, up? I didn't even think about bagels. Like how oh, bagels. I just are. don't do it anymore. Yeah. The past, the past, like three times, I got burned. <laughs> like they just over. Like I'll take it out and I barely even touch it, and it's leaking. Cream cheese. Okay. Because mm. I always ask for cream cheese on the, the side. Because like you can. I should start doing that. Just ask for it on the side. That makes more sense. Dip. <laughs> hey, yeah. there you go. Um, uh, That's what I the girl says. You got to baby bird it. Baby bird. <laughs> you got to baby bird it. What the <laughs> Rip it apart and then just eat it. Oh. <laughs> That's what she says. Like, <laughs> like, like I'm thinking like I, as a mother bird. All I think bird. is Ace Ventura. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, you got to baby bird it. Like, no, just rip it apart, it? eat it in little bites. Uh, yeah. I think that's what she's talking. <laughs> See, it's so high maintenance, men with ears. I know. Do you oil it? I don't oil, but I do the wax just to like, because it gets. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Putting you under the bus. Just to keep it in shape, you know, like, you know, sometimes it's a little messy, comb it and then just wax well, do it this up. this with your hair. I just, okay. Yeah, okay. It's not, oh, oh, oh God, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. No, I, I was just wondering like how thick and full because your hair was on the side oh, yeah. but you know it's it's it's, it's a big one it's a beard <laughs> it's a beard so do you always have a beard i have for like the past like four years oh, roughly. okay yeah. no i just yeah you know oh one quarter. i used to be clean shaven all the time like my family prefers me clean shaven but that's a family <laughs> or what it stick to your guns yeah exactly yeah. stick um, to the beard i'm like i'm really like i'm sorry <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> i'm trying not to be so no, repulsive no it's my fault i started with the beard and like see like looking is fine like talking but like talking about it <laughs> too much too much. Gross. <laughs> like oily. No, no, I don't beard. do the oil. I know guys that do, but. No. I mean, what is the wax? What is. Just the wax just keeps it in shape, you know. Do like, you have wax on it now? I did a little bit this morning, yeah. Oh. Just, you know, if it's like I wake up in the morning and it's like out here, it just kind of keeps it formed. Got it. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like if I was a boy, I would have a beard, but then I probably wouldn't because I would get grossed out. But dang, I don't but like But would you shaving. be shaving every day? No, I feel like <laughs> being a girl, you shave. And it's like, I don't want to shave anymore. Right. I'm sure um, that gets old. Yeah. I kind just of. quit doing that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I'm single. I'm, nobody's going to see these legs. So, yeah. But, okay. Let's back to music. Back, yeah, back to what yeah, you're here for. For sure. Um, how about... The love song, because we were talking about yeah. how you guys met. Is this about her? It is. <gasps> does she know it? She does. Have, have you serenaded it to her? Yeah, I've actually. Was it awkward? I, she didn't really know until like I played it on an open mic one night, and I played it for her. I was like, yeah, that's your song. <laughs> Did you say it afterwards? Uh, I, I think I dedicated it to her okay, first. <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking of what? me. I oh, would be like one? on my phone or something and miss <laughs> that's it. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, I made it known <laughs> oh, prior. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the song. What's her name? Uh, Naomi. Na oh, that's such a cool name. Yeah. Uh, Naomi, listen to the song. <laughs> but okay, so love songs, just about her. It is. Oh. Uh, I'm so single. All right. Oh. Love it. Okay. Then let's get to it. This is for you, Naomi. Is it Naomi? Naomi? Uh, Naomi? I call her Naomi, but Naomi? I, I, every, Naomi, Na, Nomi. N. Yeah. D N. N, N D. N D. Nancy Drew. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get to this. It's live right on. on Rewind 943 Unsigned. Is this for real? 
Three. That was love sung by North One Thirty One. I don't know why I want to say highway. So I'm like <laughs> highway oh, North One Thirty One. Highway One Thirty One. So North One Thirty One. And if you want to be in studio like him, contact me on my Facebook or Instagram. And I probably won't contact you back because I never go on it. But I sometimes do. <laughs> Hence why you were I'm like. Here. Yeah, see, he was from Facebook and he's here. I check on it once in a while, like to be like, oh crap, somebody's coming in studio. Probably be like, yeah, no, totally. Come in studio, please. Um, but yes, you don't have to be a musician. You can pretty much be anything you want to promote yourself with. I still want an animal tamer because I just want animals. That would here. be rad. Right? Here's the snakes. <laughs> like, I don't know. It would be. Yeah, just keep those cool. away from me. I don't like snakes. See, the only thing I do not like are centipedes. Centipedes? Oh my God. I like can't yeah, even those look are at kinda, a picture. Yeah, no. I can't even look at a picture without really? oh, hate Yeah, them. snakes. That's what it is for me. Really? Snakes, lizards, don't like them. Really? Yeah. Uh, I Reptilians, like, don't I like, like them. reptiles. And you lived in Arizona. I did. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> You're, probably every step like you take. Like, I was really cautious. Yeah. And they do have lizards out there. I've seen quite a bit of lizards. Yeah. No snakes. Huh. I did kind of close come in contact with one camping one time, but. <laughs> yeah, They do have snakes, though. They do. Oh, okay. Rattlers. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've heard stories where people are like, yeah, I went out and did a job uh, at this house and I opened the garage. There's a rattler right there. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I feel like every place has rattlers. Theirs are probably just like rattlier. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, an animal tamer. Hit us up. Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> um, a writer. And you can just send me music and I'll play it too on various artist shows. So where can we, oh, 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 and also I said Facebook and Instagram. I didn't even mention my Snapchat. Ooh. I am on Snapchat a lot. So, cause I can look like a bunny and look stupid. <laughs> so yes, that's under Jill, the letter E and Pepper, Jilly Pepper. So pretty much if you want to contact me, that's where to, that's the way Snapchat's to do it. Snapchat's where it's at. You, you, cause you don't even have to send a message or no. not a message, um, a picture, just send a message. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh. Yeah. All right. Totally cool. easier. But you know, a lot of people don't have Snapchat. Yeah. Just I'll get to you when I get to you. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure it I'm out. I'm professional. <laughs> yeah. So where can we find you, North 131? You can find North 131 on just about every platform. Um, just N O R T H 131 B A N D. Um, and just, just about everywhere you listen to music, just North 131, we're there as well. Better be, I pay for it. <laughs> okay, no, I just, I'm looking up North 131. Yeah. Jeez, everything is so negative in news. Like, is I it? just looked up North 131 just to be like, hey, you know, maybe you come up, but semi strikes, person really? on US 131 oh, leading no. to multiple crashes and two deaths. Oh, wow. Two dead in US 131 crash in a Legion County northbound. Like, it's just like, how about well, something positive? I wasn't positive? part of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when they say North 131, they mean you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> They better not start blaming me for everything. Yeah. So, okay. Now, um, yeah, you have probably have to put band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't work unless you don't put band. <clears throat> yeah. Wait. You got it? I got 131 band. N131? 131, 131 just... North Side. What? Is it all one word? N O R T H 131? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I I guess. I didn't think so. Uh-uh. What? Wait. How am I so unfindable? Oh, no. North 131, it's... Yeah, no, you're good now. Oh, cool. It has to be one word. Okay. If you don't do one word, then it's like... All together. Yeah, now you're causing highway collisions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You murdered. Yeah, all right, everything all together. Okay. N-O-R-T-H 131 B-A-N-D. Okay. Easy <laughs> enough. I like that. So, road again. Were you on the road again? Yeah, this is actually uh, my story of when I first, it's kind of like my mind frame of what was going on when I moved from Michigan to Arizona the first time Okay. for school. I was like eight, 
I believe 17 when I did that. Wow. And just kind of this song came out, just what was going on through my mind at the time. That's it? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Yeah, wrote oh. again, uh, like, just mm. out there. And then uh, this is just kind of a story of what was going on in I'm my head. you drove. Yeah, okay. I did. Yeah, <laughs> I drove the whole time. Why? Uh, I was moving, moving for school. So I don't know. I would have been like, I'm I downsize? buying everything <laughs> new because that's I don't like driving. No, I, I like driving. That's why I'm like two and a half hours. Jesus, why'd you come here? <laughs> like not worth it. It really wasn't that bad. No, I love just, driving though. So I, I enjoy it. Just throwing some tunes and relax. I mean, I, and you had your girlfriend and yeah. doggies. So I oh, guess yeah. it's not that bad. <laughs> but okay, let's get to this road again by North 131 on Rewind 94.3 Unsigned. Rewind 94.3. That was Road Again by North 131, who I have here in studio. Ew. And I kind of want to just go to a next song, like um, Wireless. Let's do it. That you know, Okay, it's kind of funny because Wireless was the one that took forever to download and get, <laughs> and it's Wireless. It like, is. It should have been like... We're here. Yeah, we're here. We're <laughs> wireless. So what is this about? Uh, just uh, another mind frame of where I was, kind of like uh, hating where I was in my life and... Uh, just gotta be emo. Yeah, it was. Know. It's the and emo song of the record. Oh, I'm actually shocked. Not all of these are. Oh, really? It's punk rock. You know, it's like. I like to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I like that. But every once in a while, you got to have the songs that it's more or less like a kind of how you're really feeling on the inside, and got to get it out. Like songwriting's therapy for me. So I feel like writing like bad, not bad, but. Emo songs are easier than writing happy songs. I, they can me, be. They can be. Like yeah, a love song? It's just, you're so... I can't. No? I can't write a love song to <laughs> save my life. And I'm like the happiest person you'll ever meet, but I can write a depressing song. the only song. love. Yeah. I have I more depressing, depressing songs song. than love songs. I guess, you know, the love song just kind of came out, you know. <laughs> Those you're are, in love. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I rain whatever. But yes, so let's get to your emo song. Yeah, wireless. Wireless on Rewind 94.3 Unsigned. Every day 
I like the ending. It was like, ah, 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 yeah. Ah. It, was that annoying, by the way? <laughs> Okay, kind of like a seagull. <laughs> Try uh, mixing that. <laughs> <laughs> I would mix. Shout things. out Schmitty. Yeah, Schmitty. Why is it everybody like the last name Schmidt or oh. something? It's always Schmitty. Uh huh. Like or Schmitty Schmitt. or Schmitty. Yeah, it just it, it has always. to. Always, always. <laughs> um, but no, I, I feel like if I was going to mix that, I would put in my to <laughs> see if like I could mix it in somehow and be like, I wonder if they notice. <laughs> so, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, let's do a, the last live one in due time. Yeah, let's What's do it. In due time. In due time is another emo song, but for the second record. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, so just kind of like seeing where I was. I think I recently just quit drinking at the time. So it was just kind of like a lot of thoughts going on in my head and mm -hmm. things going on. And this is kind of what happened, all more right. or less. <laughs> so in due time is definitely not staggering. No. Okay, <laughs> cool. Let's get to it. And Rewind 94.3 Unsigned. Three, that was in due time by North 131, who I have here in studio today. And that is all she wrote. He wrote. Yep. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo. But thanks for coming in in two yeah, not and a a problem. Half hours. If I knew that, I would have been like, you're not welcome. No. Here. We don't like you. <laughs> you're from the other side. Yeah, from the other side. <laughs> but yes. No, I really appreciate you having me in and uh, Stop taking it. the time. Anytime. Hopefully, when I can have more people come in and right. bring the band. Bring the full band. That'd be so awesome. Cool. I can't wait. Well, I'm getting out of here. So I'm Jill Eleanor on Unsigned, and this is Rewind 94.3.